Hi everybody, this is Kevin with Garrison Dental Solutions and we are here today with the esteemed Dr. J.D. Corey. Oh man. Yeah, <laughs> no, no pressure there, no pressure there. And uh, Dr. Corey has helped us along through the process of developing the new Fusion Anterior Matrix System. So Dr. Corey, one of the questions that we've had a lot as we've gotten started with this product and put materials out to the public is they're looking at that metal band mm -hmm. and they're going, how in the heck <laughs> can I have a metal band in there, put the composite in and cure it? Yeah. So show us, show us how that goes about. Yeah. So I think, you know, part of the reason for that is probably because the majority of dentists out there are using clear, uh, like a very strip or a mylar strip to do these anterior restorations and they're used to being able to put that curing light right up against that mylar strip cure it um, and this is going to be a little bit a little bit different and so let's say that we're working on number eight here and we're going to place that matrix band so you could see where that sits like that um, now what we're going to do is we'll put a wedge in there as well Okay, and so once that's set up, now in this situation, we're gonna apply some finger pressure here. Okay. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is add some composite right to that restoration. And it's, it's wide open and available. Right, yeah. making sure, so the access is you know fairly easy. You can see it's starting to ooze out there. And now what I will do from here, I will take, a flat instrument like this and I'll guide that instrument using the um, using that matrix and then kind of pull towards the tooth to help bring that composite especially down here by this wedge so I'll bring that composite over get rid of the excess and then once I have everything where I want it so that looks good then I will have the assistant cure that. And you can see we're easily accessing. Okay, and then usually we'll take, we'll take everything off. And then if I need to have the assistant cure again, she could have that light directly behind there if I felt like for whatever reason, you know, we needed a second cure on there. Um, but you know, that's pretty much the way that we'll restore this, uh, uh, lingual of one of the upper anteriors. Oh, look at that. Great shape. Yeah. Perfect contour. This part here, I can shape with my instrument. I can shape with a burr, but the thing that's really hard to recreate is this interproximal emergence profile, especially as you get down towards the gums. I think a lot of the dentistry that's done on lower anteriors is geared towards cosmetic, but what's really important is the, the seal, the function. That's what it's all about because otherwise you'll get, it doesn't matter how nicely shaped it is, if it starts to stain, you know, six months later, then, that's right you know, front. yeah, then your patients are going to hate it and they're going to come back to you and say, we got to fix this. So for me, the seal, making sure there's no marginal leakage has been uh, a huge deal and that's something I struggled a little bit with with the clear strips you know just because of the saliva that can get up there if that mm. if that's not really tucked in perfectly and held tight and sometimes when I put that composite in there that band wanted to pull away from the tooth and, and then I would try to pull it back with my fingers but these uh, the new uh, matrix system for the interior here, it's so stiff that I don't have to worry about that deflection happening it, as I'm injecting the shape. composite. Yeah. Exactly. Now, are you finding these to be fairly easy to get the band into the sulcus? Yeah. It, you know, sometimes it could take just a little bit of like repositioning. For example, this number nine here, if, if I put it straight down through the contact, sometimes it'll slip right into that sulcus. Other times, it won't. And so what I'll end up doing is placing it more from a facial okay. position to try to really angle that in where I want it to be. 
but that there right goes. there yeah. is the most important part of restoring these. Once you get that in there, get the wedge in there so that tight seal towards the margin is taken care of. After that, um, yeah, you want it to be shaped nice, you want it to look nice, but you know, having that tucked into the margin and not worrying about whether it's gonna pull away or lift up um, is, is critical. 